How do you use the magnetic lasso tool in Photoshop to make selections? Where is the magnetic lasso tool? If you look up at the toolbar in the top left, you'll see the freehand lasso tool. Click and hold on the toolbar, you can see the magnetic lasso tool and it has this little magnet. You can also press Shift L to cycle through the lasso tools. Once you have it selected, up at the top you'll notice that there's some options. We have the feather, like many of the lasso tools. We also have width and contrast and frequency. Width defines where the magnetic lasso tool will look for edges. This can be changed with the bracket keys on your keyboard, just like changing brush size. Contrast tells the magnetic lasso tool how to decide if it actually exists. So if you have something that's high contrast, you actually want to make this up. If you have something that's a little bit more fuzzy or muted, perhaps a lower contrast will work. The frequency is how many pixels apart are the little anchor points that keep everything together. Every selection you make with the magnetic lasso tool will be different, so you'll have to adjust these as you go. Let's look at the lasso tool on this screwdriver. One nice trick is if you press caps lock, you can see where it's going to search for an edge. So if I have it very large, it's going to look for edges wherever this is. So now it doesn't see an edge, but it's trying to do something. So it says it's there and this isn't going to be very good. So we'll just close it out, press control or command D to deselect. Let's try this again. This time I'm going to make the edge width a little bit smaller so I can see where it's looking for the edge. I'll click and I don't have to hold down. I can just now drag along the edge here and then see how the lasso tool snaps to the edges. I can go across and it's trying its best to figure out where the edge of my form is. Notice that it's only looking where the width of the brush is. When you get to the end and you see that circle next to the magnetic lasso tool in Photoshop, just click and it'll make that selection. And of course, you can remove this or simply press delete and it will delete the contents. When using the magnetic lasso tool, it's very easy for it to kind of get out of hand very quickly. For example, if I start using the lasso tool and I just start drawing, you can eventually just keep moving your mouse and you have the lasso tool all over. Don't fret, just double click your mouse, press control or command D and you're fine. But sometimes you're actually in the middle of a selection and you actually want to keep it. Say for example, I'm trying to select this gold part of this tape and I'm going along and I'm doing great. I have a really nice selection. And then suddenly I go like this. All is not lost. You can press delete and it'll delete the points. So just move your cursor back to where you want your next point to be. Delete everything until you get to where you want to go. And also sometimes it won't drop an anchor point where you want it. You can click the mouse, just like using the pen tool, and it will click and find where those points want to be. So this can be helpful. You can actually make the frequency less and then manually do it, kind of like a hybrid between the pen tool and the freehand lasso tool. So this is how you use the magnetic lasso tool in Photoshop. Hopefully you can use it to make selections in your images.